10th of May 2017 and what an awesome day to be out on the mountain bike again. Thank you big brother Craig. It's the most amazing gift from you. I love it. It must be about 35 degrees centigrade today so I don't know where the so-called winter is. This is just incredible out here. I love it, love it, love it. So far just on 8Ks heading up that way towards the Kango Caves route. We'll see how far I feel like going today. Wow, beautiful out here. Oh, it's such a magical day today. You just get out there and you do it. No excuses. Wonderful. Taking a spin on the mountain bike up into the mountains here. It's not a GoPro. But still, to give you a bit of a POV. They've just graded the road recently, although there's a lot of loose rubble. It's still wonderful compared to how it was with all the corrugations before. There's some really beautiful views heading up into the mountains here. Great Black Mountain Range in the distance there. This is the route to Kango Caves. I've just come across an entire troop of baboons. There must be about 13 of them. They're all scattering up into the mountain range now. But this is so remote out here. Yo. And the views are just incredible. You know, when you start seeing baboons out here, it's an undisturbed area. What a privilege to be out here. This road goes on for a long way up towards the Swartberg and then it turns to the left towards Karlitzdorp or to the right to Kango Caves and a circuit route back to Otsuren. I still see some of the younger baboons in the distance. They're very difficult to see from here, a few hundred meters away, just on the edge of the vegetation. They're obviously very wary of people because they're helping themselves to the crops that have been planted here. It's what I call nature's tax. They were here first after all, so what a lovely day. Yo, there's some killer hills out here. I'm now getting deep into the mountains, far away from some of the last farmsteads now. It's getting pretty remote here. It's absolutely incredible being out here. I've never cycled on this route before. Every pedal forward is a new adventure. This is just oh, breathtaking nature here. Totally unspoiled. Wow, I love it. I feel like I'm in paradise or something. This is absolutely beyond words. This nature is pristine. Wow. Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah! What an echo. This is incredible. I've finally got through the foothills. I've never been on this route before with biofuel. Yeah, I'm just blown away by the incredible views here. And these hills are unbelievably steep. Jish. But I'm through the worst of them now. And there's the old man in the mountain with his big nose and his forehead, soon to be covered in snow in the winter months. Yeah, I haven't seen him up this close for a long time. It's fantastic. What a pleasure. It looks like I'm going all the way down to Kango Caves and back through Otsuren. There's no turning back here. Well, the Ungulungu meerkats certainly know where to make their home in the Meerkat Magic Valley. This is just incredible out here. Wow. Oh. I'm going to be heading all the way along that road, right up into the last foothills, and then going up along the Swartberg towards the Kango Caves, way off in that direction still.
That's a seriously long uphill. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. All the way to the Carlet Storp turn and Kango Caves turn signboard and then back down that way. It's the route I came from. Right up next to the old man of the mountain. And oats are in up that way. Running on Air, composed by Grant McIlrath, the meerkat man. Whistling and whirring, shiny aluminium spoke rims are turning. Bristling whirlwind, so smooth and fast. Slicing the air to tattered ribbons as they go whizzing past. Running on air, they glide on. No tension, no, not a care. Hypnotized by the monotonous quadriceps pumping. Meditation, concentration, keep that back from slumping. Eyes riveted to the road. Legs dance graciously, as though there is no weighted load. Straining muscles contract and bunch. A ravenous stomach rolls in anticipation of lunch. A rhythmic pulsating beat marks time with my feet and generates an internal burning heat. Perspiration beads upon my brow. How far to ride, I wonder. But there's no stopping now. Released endorphins gush madly through my bulging veins, surfing the crimson crest of a tidal wave of blood. Onwards they flood to soothingly drain any vestiges of pain. I am elated, entranced at last, as I skim virtually beyond nature's gravitational grasp. 